Yo, what's up, my bro? This is a track review of JGMX Millville, and I don't know if this is just the Cougar version of Millville or what's going on here, but uh, you can definitely get to scooting on this track, boy, no doubt about it. I'm talking fifth gear, wide open, 69 miles an hour, and you can definitely override the shit out of this track on a 450, so you gotta be a little bit careful. You got to definitely either scrub it or let off the gas or slam on the brakes or something because a lot of these jumps you could definitely hit it on a 125 so that just goes to show you if you're on a 450 that's how much more you're going to be over jumping everything but um let me just go ahead and say this and and i don't mean this in any sort of negative way at all i'm just kind of giving a little bit of advice here um i've noticed that the jgmx dude has been making a ton of tracks here lately and i'm not saying your tracks are getting any worse trust me i'm not saying that by any means i actually really enjoyed this track right here in design and everything I just don't want you to ever get to the point where you, you've like overworked yourself and then your tracks start to suffer because of it. And I just, the only reason I'm saying this is because I've seen that you've been making a ton of tracks here lately. And um, I feel like the only reason I can even speak on that is because I've actually been through that exact thing before where I started to make so many tracks that I actually burnt myself out on it a little bit. And what happened was I was just, more so worried about getting the track out than I was making a really good track and so um, I just don't want you to ever get to that point so I'm just saying just be a little bit careful because um, I, I just see you making a ton of tracks and, and I, I definitely enjoy when somebody makes a bunch of tracks but it's just I'm just telling you from a like somebody that's been through it and experienced it um, I'm just saying just be careful that's all I'm saying just just definitely um, you know, if you're making a track, don't just release it just because it's, you know, you've got to get it out for whatever reason, or, you know, you want to make sure you're, you're actually making it as good as you possibly want to make it. Um, and that's just from a, an artistic standpoint, you know, you never want to get to the point where you're rushing it and you can definitely overdo it too. But, um, yeah, so I just wanted to give him that little bit of advice there, but, um, this on track right here is awesome, dude. It's, every little jump and corner and everything's unique about it um just with the overall design of it so uh got a nice little quad over a kind of like a you gotta like bounce off of that one jump it's actually pretty scary the first time you hit it but um got a nice triple right here then you jump up over all this stuff um couple little ruts here and there not super ruddy but it's got just enough ruts uh right here really cool I actually let me back this up a little bit so check this out so this right here almost gives me the feeling like I'm on the edge of a floating island or I'm on some kind of other really cool planet I don't know what did it but it's like it's the combination of the skybox and it's like the shadowing and it's like you're just going into the forest a little bit um, I, I don't know how he managed to do that but I got some kind of cool feeling from it I'll tell you that for sure because I was like whoa dude I feel like I'm on a whole Whole nother world right here so it was kind of cool I, I just love when tracks can kind of do those little things like that and I love this little s switchback section right here where he's got like um, some really sharp corners you can either take inside lines or outside lines um, got a decent size little triple right here and um, pretty big jump right there you got to make sure you're on the throttle if you're planning on hitting that but it's got the standard JGMX corners where you can basically just hold it wide open and um, there's a couple of places where I was fifth gear wide open popping a willy hitting some roughness and I was <laughs> smacking against the face of a jump so you can definitely get like insane crazy speeds on this track where it uh it can definitely get sketchy, no doubt about it. I mean, you gotta, you just gotta be knowing what that bike's gonna do at that high of a speed to really get around this track fast. Um, but it's very good for practicing your high speed scrubbing and a really good track for whip practice and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, just fun track, man. Um, it, it's not something trying to be super realistic. It's it does have realistic elements in there. Um, like you'll you'll definitely notice some rut lines and and stuff like that. But um, definitely got a couple of jumps that are just almost unrealistic. Got a lot of natural elevation on this track where you're just kind of going up and down this really big hillside. And uh, 
it's it's a lot of fun man it's one of those tracks where you're just you're you're constantly hitting some kind of big jump somewhere so you never get bored on this track um you know the off track stuff it's a very small part to a track when you really think about it um it can change the whole feeling like just like i was saying some of those crazy feelings like i felt like i was on a floating island or something like that um it can totally give you different feelings like that but it's it's not as important as the on track. So uh, JGMX gets the the hard stuff to get right right. He really does, and it's that's the most important part. Um, so like right here, really fun. You can come up this inside rut. He's built it perfectly up this jump face. A lot of people can't even do that. But I mean, like right here, that takes a lot of time before you can build a, a well built rut up a jump face through a corner like that. That is some track building skill right there. Let me tell you. Um, Three different rut options right here. Perfect design. Um, it, it got his smooth rut kind of feel where you can keep your flow on the track. It's not like it's so rough that you've got to slow down and really figure out where you're at. You can just keep a steady flow. It almost kind of reminds me of like how maybe a, a Daytona that's not very rough. You know, it's just kind of got ruts here. Even though these ruts are a lot more solid, it just it reminds me of something where it's you can just get in that real mellow flow all the way around the track. You're, you're not hitting anything that's killing your your momentum or killing your flow. So um, I love when tracks do that, and JG Max has always been able to keep a flow around his tracks, regardless if it's a full um real tight corner like this right here you can still have flow around it and uh sliding out a little bit but uh yeah it's it's fun man that little hip jump right there you definitely got to slow down for that this triple right here you got to be on it definitely not one of those you want to be picking your nose on because it uh you got to be you just got to be throttle you don't have to be wide open uh because you'll definitely over jump it on a 450 but you just want to be on it that's how most of these jumps are on this track. You just want to be on it. That's that's basically all there is to it. On a 450, now if you're on like a 125, you could probably be wide open everywhere and land everything pretty good. But um, this jump, this first little jump right here is super small. So uh, just be prepared for that. You're going to have to scrub the crap out of it to not over jump it. Um, and then you come around here to this pretty big jump. You got all, this is probably one of the best whip jumps out there. It's definitely up there with uh, the best whip jumps because you can over jump the crap out of this and still look how big that landing is the way he's got this hillside right here very very forgiving for a big jump um you could even land like you could land all the way out here and still land it i know that sounds crazy but you could just because of how he's got his elevation where it just naturally comes back down right there but but yeah like you know i'll go back and look at some of the the beginning jgmx tracks and it just it seemed like they had a little bit more, I don't know even how to, just a little bit more time was put into them. That's what it seems like to me. So like this track right here and some of his more recent ones, they kind of seem like he's put his time into one area and then some of the other areas of the track, he's just kind of, it's like he's kind of just plumped it together and like put the track out there. That's kind of what it seems like. And it's not, like I'm saying, it's not a not a super negative thing. It's just, I, I want you to be careful of that um, because I went through that exact same thing where I was making too many tracks and I didn't even realize, you know, I didn't even realize what I was doing, but what I was doing was I was more worried about getting the track out and just getting it done more so than I was about making it to the best of my ability. So, um, now don't get me wrong. I, I love this track. I really, this track definitely hit a, a certain something in me where it was like, man, I, I actually really enjoyed that track. I, I don't know particularly what it what it was. Um, and, you know, I don't know. It's hard to say because you can have some off-track stuff that, like, you can have a basic off-track and then it gives a track a really cool feel. For instance, on my Venus motocross track, I feel like it, it barely had anything off the track, but it gave it a cool, spacey kind of feel. Um, now, with this track, it does give it that cool feel as well, where it's like, it's hard to explain it, but like, you can have a basic design track over here, and it can feel amazing, and you can have another track over here that's got 
tons, got twice as many decals and billboards and all that crap. And it, it it's amazing in its own way. So it's like, I don't know. I mean, it, it's all kind of in the eye of what you like and what you perceive the track as, you know. Um, but I, I'm just saying I've, I've noticed a trend of JGMX definitely he's he's making a lot of tracks like this kind of off track right here where it's just a tree here and there and not so much anything else <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's uh he's definitely been consistently doing that here lately so i just want him to be careful that's all i'm saying um so i'm gonna give this track a um, I'm going to give it an 8 overall. I think the on track was a ton of fun. I know some of you guys are like, what? You you said all those things were not very good about the track and you still gave it an 8 overall? Yeah, I did because I was I was being nitpicky. That That's little nitpicky stuff. Whenever you are nitpicky about the off track, that's being super nitpicky. Um, because the on track is a ton of fun on this track right here. Um, it really is. There's unique lines, unique uphills and, and big enough jumps where it's got a fun factor and, and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, you can just see the little bit of base. It's almost like, it's almost like you took a beginner's track and then put a really good on track on it. That's kind of what this feels like because if I, I I'm looking at it right now, and if I just ripped away this skybox and put, like, the the stock skybox on it or something, it would almost feel like a completely beginner track, other than the on track, obviously. But, um, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's just got a very, very basic off-track feel. Now, right here, look how cool it gets. You know what I'm saying? It's like, whoa, this is sick right here, dude. I don't know if it's just the the shadowing or, or what it is, but or see he actually put more of those little grass billboards right up in here. And um I don't know, it's it's like it's just missing a little bit on the rest of the track. I don't know any other way to explain that, but uh I love your tracks, man. Don't get me wrong. I'm just little nitpicky stuff. So eight overall, I would say the difficulty is hard because some of these bigger jumps can definitely be tricky if you're not used to it. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Later, dudes.